Greetings, my friends, and thanks for tuning in today. Uh, we're going to be working on something I think is really fun I've been wanting to show you. I've been making textured clay using the Primo for a base. It can be anything. It could be a switch plate or um, a pendant, but we're going to do a bracelet because I've been a little bracelet crazy lately. So, uh, But what it is is you make a texture on your clay, in this case Primo, and you cure it and then you backfill it with different colors of souffle. And the reason this has really uh, gotten to be so enjoyable for me is because when I tried it before with different textures of clay, it's kind of a struggle. But the uh, souffle kind of has a pasty quality that it gets if you warm it up enough. It just takes, you just have to go like that. And uh, you get it warmed up and you can press it into the crevices and grooves and designs and really do some neat things with it. it kind of looks like hand painting or cloisonne it can look like a lot of things so i wanted to share that with you and i hope you really like it now these two are made from this same sheet that i use constantly it's in the uh, landscape collection but today i wanted to try something else now this one's kind of like where I'm going today. And you might want to try it. And that is taking one color uh, backfill or inlay and putting it on a complex colored background. So, you know, golly, the combinations are endless. But the reason I wanted to try this today is because I've got this snake skin in the new collection, which is the edgy edgy collection and um, you know when I was a you know I graduated from high school in 1972 so you can imagine the uh, righteous disco diva I once was and during that time I had some rainbow snakeskin platform shoes and you know of all the things I've lost or given up in life I think it's those shoes you know I miss the most and I was thinking well I'm gonna make myself a rainbow snakeskin bracelet to make myself feel better. And that's what we're going to make. So here's my blend. See how scientific I am. I've taken the hunks, I've made them into strips. They look perfectly fine just the way they are, and they're going to be pretty in the bracelet. So I'm going to take this guy and fold them up throw that piece back in that I accidentally shaved off and in a minute we'll have a pretty blend for our bracelet okay so I've got this blend and what I'm going to do that I didn't do on this bracelet see how I just came to a screeching halt with this red and jumped right into this uh, teal which you know wasn't too well conceived so I think this time I'm going to bring my color around to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the blue back around. And that way this can blend a little bit, right? And turn back into blue before it gets to the end there. So you might want to do that because, you know, this one, you know, sort of like screams, there's the seam, you know. Now I've got a scrap sheet and I've got my top sheet. And all I need to do to this is put it around something to mold it round. And, and now we get to do the fun part. I'm going to start at the end and I'm going to press. Now one thing that's really always good to remember is the deeper your impression, you know, the better and cleaner your backfill or your inlay looks. So you just want to take a minute to settle it down. Careful when you get to the line because if you press very hard right, you know, on the line, it makes a, an indentation there that you later have to kind of, you know, cover up. So when you get to the line, uh, just go a little bit easier. You know, you're never going to get them just exactly right the way you want them, but you'd be surprised, you know, if you kind of start out in the ballpark and work with them, they turn out really well. So I've got my mold, and I see my seam is here. And just like any project we've ever done with bracelets, the only place you cannot put this new seam is on the old seam. And believe me, it makes them really nice and strong. It's really nice. You're going to like it. So I'm just going to start in a spot that is not in the same spot. And that's it. I mean, that's not complicated. And I'm going to wrap this around on top of the uh, 
little scrap piece, okay? So it's on there, looks pretty good. You can take uh, one of your little tools. I use my uh, ball styluses or the rubber ends on them. And you can blend out your seam as much as you want to. I don't mind that seam though. It looks okay. So you're just doing this. And I'm going to put it in, since it's going to be uh, cured twice, I'm going to put it in for 45 minutes. Just make sure it's nice and strong when we're working with it. And then when I uh, backfill it, I'll put it in for probably another 30 minutes after that, just for security. So far, we're doing great. So we have our bracelet. It's really pretty. And now we're going to fill it with some souffle. And I'm using the um, color that's called Concrete. And we're going to put it into all the holes that we've made. So what I do is I warm it up really well and let it become really super soft and pliable. And then I start to put it in the holes. And this part is just really relaxing and mindless. And basically you want to cover this whole bracelet up with your clay and stretch it and push it into the openings, whatever they may be. And you'll feel how close you are there, you know, how tight it's packed down in there. You don't have to use bonder or anything like that. It'll stay in there when you cook it up. It's going to be great. So this is stuck in there. Now I'm going to take my blade. You can wipe it off. Make sure you've got it pretty clean. And I'm going to scrape it back off. I've done this with a little craft knife. It was pretty good. You can do it either way. I, right now I'm just looking for a large enough blade to, you know, make quick work of it. Don't worry about every bit of it because we're going to go to the next stage, okay? The last thing you got to do to get this cleaned up is to wipe it off. Um, I used to use all these rags that I would save with, um, you know, my alcohol. I use wintergreen alcohol in my studio. Everybody loves it, by the way. If you're teaching much, uh, clean up your glass with wintergreen alcohol. The students love it. They say they like to come and take a big breath when they get there because they want to smell it. And I like to smell it too, so. Anyway, I was using um, wintergreen alcohol. I was using these rags. I've got to find more rags. And then people kept telling me, you know, why don't you use baby wipes more in your clay work? And I thought, oh, well, that's not going to work, you know. Well, you know, I was completely wrong. It works really well. So now I usually do use baby wipes. So what I do after I've got it about the way I want to and wiped off plenty is I put some Perlex on it. I love my Perlex pigments and I use them a lot. And what I do is put this over the gray. Now it seems like it's going to get all over the whole bracelet and maybe you want it that way. I'm telling you, those platform shoes kind of look like this all over, but but I don't really want it to be all over everything. So I'm going to kind of massage it, you know, into the gray. I'm going to wipe it back off, and then I'm going to cure this, this souffle, or bake, fire, same thing. Anyway, I'm going to make sure that that uh, sparkle is down in the gray really well. And this is Pearlex, let's see, Macro Pearl. And the reason I have this color is because, you know, it goes with everything and then I don't have to buy so many. So I put that in there. And then I'm going to wipe it off again. Lightly. And the reason I don't have to worry about taking all the the pearlescent off of the, the whole bracelet right now is because when I just lightly sand this when I'm finished any of the pearl that's not down in uh, baked on to the gray is going to come off for me. So it's really pretty easy. Uh, as I say if you want it all over the bracelet uh, you can retain some of that by not sanding it when it comes out because you don't need to sand it for any other reason. Hey, while that uh, bracelet's cooking up, I want to tell you something. Uh, people ask me all the time, you know, well, gosh, you know, how can you be so laid back? We really like your relaxed attitude. 
Well, the only reason I have a relaxed attitude is because I've already done this and I know how it's going to turn out and I've already made the mistakes. So what I suggest to you, it's really been freeing for me, is do tests. This is a test. I could see right away that my uh, disco fever was going to be quenched by this Pearlex powder and not by the uh, color of the clay without it. So, you know, it's not just the powder. This could have been black, you know. Uh, I could have tried all different things uh, in my test, and that way I know how it's going to turn out. I know how it's going to be, and I haven't wasted all that time and material. So I do suggest that to you. Feel free to do tests. It's really fun, and you really explore your creativity that way, and I think you'll be really more satisfied. So I just want to tell you that. So our bracelet is finished. I lightly sanded the edges so they wouldn't be sharp up here, and I put a coat of Sculpey Gloss Glaze on it. I let that dry, and I put another coat on it the next morning. It's nice and hard and shiny, and I think the colors have really worked out well. I love this green over here. So give it a try. See what you think. Um, all the uh, design sheets that Sculpey makes are the right depth and a good size for what we're doing here. So I'll be bringing you more interesting ideas with them and with the other products that I've been trying. And uh, it's nice to see you. Stay tuned for a little message. Well, I hope you liked it. And thanks a lot for tuning in. And I want to ask you to please subscribe if you haven't already. Because I have a lot of stuff coming your way in 2015. And this year also. But uh, 2015 is bringing us to Polymer Clay Adventure, which is on Polymer Clay TV. Uh, and it's really going to be something I think you're going to like. So uh, check it out uh, and please recommend it to your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.